Hi and welcome. Today we are going to solve the equation on the board. When we have such algebraic equations, the first thing we do is to try to find a way to combine the two fractions into one single unit. And how do we do this? Now, the first thing to do is we multiply this by this. That is, c plus 1 multiplies c minus 4. We write down the sign and then we multiply this by this. That is c plus 2 multiplies t minus 3. Then we draw the line and then we multiply this by this. So we have t plus 2 into t minus 4. And of course, this is equal to 0. Remember how it goes. It's just like an x. We multiply this quantity by this quantity. We write down the sign here. We multiply this quantity by this quantity. We draw the line. Then we multiply this quantity by this quantity. Now, the next thing we do is to multiply both sides of the equation by this number. And of course, multiplying this side of the equation by this number will simply cancel that. And remember, when you multiply anything by zero, it stays zero. So we have ultimately that c plus 1 into t minus 4 plus t plus 2 into t minus 3 is equal to 0. So this will be the equation that we will be solving ultimately. Now, there's a second way of doing this. You can take this quantity over to the right-hand side of the equation since we have 0 here. And you know that once a positive quantity crosses over the equality sign, it becomes negative. So what we have is t plus 1 divided by t plus 2 is equal to minus t minus 3 over t minus 4. When we have done this, we can now cross multiply. So we have t plus 1 multiplied by t minus 4 is equal to minus t minus 3 multiplied by t plus 2. This is what we have. And then bringing this over, we have that t plus 1 into t minus 4 plus, because you remember this is negative, t minus 3 t plus 2 is equal to 0. You can see that in both cases, we have exactly the same thing, t plus 1 multiplying t minus 4 plus t minus 3 multiplying t plus 2. So either of the two ways, either you combine the two fractions into one unit and then multiply the denominator or rather multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator or you move this over to the other side of the equality sign and then cross multiply. So having done this, the next thing is to expand this and collect like terms. So here what we have is t times t is t squared. t times minus 4 is minus 4t. 1 times t is plus t. And 1 times minus 4 is minus 4 plus t times t is t squared. t times minus 3 is minus 3t. 2 times t is plus 2t. And 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. And that is equal to 0. Now we collect like terms. We have t squared here and we have t squared here and they are both positive. So we have 2t squared. We have minus 4t plus t. And of course, this is equal to minus 3t. Here we have minus 3t plus 2t. And of course, this is equal to minus t. Adding the two of them, we have minus 4t. Leaving us 
with the constants times. Here we have minus 4 and here we have minus 6. Adding both of them, we have minus 10, and this is equal to 0. I don't think we can factorize this equation, but let us find out. Now, when you want to know whether you can factorize an equation or not, what you do is to find the value of b squared minus 4ac. If this is a perfect square, then it means that this equation, this quadratic equation, can be factorized. But if this is not a perfect square, then this quadratic equation cannot be factorized and you have to go on to solve it with the quadratic formula or you have to complete the squares. Now we have that b is minus 4 squared minus, you have 4, a is 2, and c is minus 10. So we have 16 minus times minus is plus, this times this is 8 times 10, so that is 80, and this is equal to 96, and 96 is not a perfect square, so we cannot factorize this equation. So we go ahead to solve with the quadratic formula. Now we have that t, that is the two values of t, is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 is C, all divided by 2a. And once, on, once more, we have minus, minus 4, plus or minus. Remember that we have already calculated this value to be what? 96. Divided by 2 times 2. Very good. This is equal to 4 plus or minus 96 is 16 times 6 divided by 4. Now we have that t is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times square root of 6 divided by 4. This is 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. 4 root 6 divided by 4. Of course, so we have that this is 1 plus or minus root 6. So the values of t, we have that t is equal to 1 plus root 6, or t is equal to 1 minus root 6. So the values of t that will solve the original equation are t equal to 1 plus root 6 or t equal to 1 minus root 6. And with that, we come to the end of today's lesson. I hope you've learned something. You must have learned how to combine two fractions into one single unit. And you must have learned how to check whether a quadratic equation can be factorized or not. Now, if you know anyone who needs such lessons, go ahead to share with them. See you in the next lesson.